Here we are, High Bleak Hole. Checkpoint two. Yes, 100 barrel burn. Um, there's a, a yellow weather warning in place around here at the minute. So we decided, or rather Graham decided, that it would be much safer to do the uh, the the, the, remain, the last leg, the leg from checkpoint two to the finish. Um, he's right, really. Uh, the bit between Barraburn and here is very, very remote. This, even though the weather is horrific, if we got in any trouble, we could quite easily just drop down into the valley and uh, we have people on standby who can come and get us. Um, they couldn't have done that on the middle section. So, yeah, we're going to wreck you this section today. Uh, and this is the barn of checkpoint two. Nice, safe, warm, fires. Yeah. I didn't get past here, so this is all new to me. Let's go. So we're going to run from here and do this last one because it's shorter and it is safer. It is safer, yeah. I'm no doubt Lee has made um, cast aspersions of my good character no, on his introduction. Like Look around, ladies and gentlemen. The sensible option today, with yellow warnings in place, is to run the shorter route, which is what we're doing. We will do Recky 2 yeah. next week when the weather's hopefully a bit better. Well, the sensible option would be to not run. But yeah. We should mention, I don't know if you already have, I can cut this if you haven't, um, that this Recky is not available to the general public. We've got special permission to be here. Yes. You can't come here. This is all you're private. getting. This is all you're getting. Well, you can, but you just can't drive here, so. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's do it. Let's go. Got a few obstacles to avoid today, will they? Full on raging torrent. Go up, hang on. <laughs> Ooh. That was deeper than I thought. So these are the, the paths we've got today. They're all turned into rivers. Look at that one. You say, believe it or not, this is actually a path and not a river. Yeah. This used to be a path. <coughs> right then guys, so, a little bit of info for you on Racky 3. Uh, we think the distance is around about 16 to 17 miles. Um, and you've only got four peaks to hit Cold Law Ken, Hedge Up Hill, but Hedge Up Hill is the second highest in the Cheviots, so that's certainly no uh, walk in the park. After that, you've got Dunmore Hill, you've got to pass Cunyon Crags, and then you pass over a section of Brough Law. So the other prominent peaks. Um, not too sure on elevation. What do you reckon, Lee? Do you want to have a guess? Four and a half thousand. Four and a half thousand. We'll see if he's right by the end. So, <coughs> as we're climbing up, Colzo Cairn? Yep. Colzo Cairn, you can see Cheviot in the distance here. This is where you'll meet the descent of Cheviot. I don't know if you can see, but there's a forest there. You meet with the corner of this forest and follow this ridge line here. Eventually leading up the bloody bush edge, which is quite fun. Um, by this time though, it's good. if you're on here and there's still people behind you over there, it's going to be pitch black. So you're going to see a lovely trail of head torches coming off there. So that should be nice. Yeah, I think any normal runner will be in pitch black at this point, won't they? Oh, Vaulted out, yeah. Some of these nice peat hags to negotiate as you get near the top of Cold Law. Here we are, guys, we are approaching Cold Law Cairn. He's gonna make the ascent for us. Hey, soup. Tastes like.
So this is the the famous Chevy peat bog here. Something you've got a one of it. Oh, I've got him! I've got him! <laughs> How's that feel, Graham? Eh? If this is a better day, on my left, you'll be able to see Hedge Up Hill. But you can't. <laughs> but it's shrouded in clouds and mist. The path that we're on leads to the base of Hedge Up. We do have a river across at the bottom here, so this could be interesting. As you can see, the paths aren't getting any better. <laughs> oh, God. It's gruesome. Absolutely gruesome. So we're just arriving at the river I mentioned earlier. And it's pretty full on today. But we are going to follow this path up here, up to Hedge Up Hill. Biggest climb today. There's a little bridge, guys. The river is starting to break its banks. Pretty impressive. That was just a tiny little stream the last time I was here. Alright, Lee's off to do a bit of time lapse. I just thought I'd put you in the picture here. Shrouded in mist there. That is Hedge Up Hill. Those little crags. With stand drop, stain drop, and straight in front of me is Coombe Fell. Just to the left there, you may be able to see Cool Law Ken poking out. We've done like a big loop around the base of it. For the first time today. Not me, man, there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woohoo! Superb. When you reach the fence line that takes you to Hedge Up Hill, there's Lee on that side of the fence. I've chose this side of the fence. As you can see, just a couple of meters on the other side of the fence, there's this sort of plastic track that was installed. Uh, it's a bit easier going you'd have to trust me it is there as i say it's a few meters from the fence uh, if the weather's bad and the snow it might be covered but it is here you might want to use that as a different option to get the hedge up it doesn't go all the way up unfortunately we're heading down into a little basin between Coombefell and hedge up and then it's a big climb up the hedge up. What, why have you come on my side of the fence? Because it's minging away, there, that's why. <laughs> Stay on this side of the fence. The right side of the fence is if you're heading up um, hedge up. It's, it might be a little bit rougher underfoot, but it's nowhere near as boggy, so... What are you doing, Lee? Look, I've just come over to demonstrate. <laughs> if you look back over, you can see how wet this side is compared to how dry that side is. So, on I that think note, I'm way back on my side. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> there's, there's not a good path. We thought we could find one, we can't. We've had to jump back and forwards. So, uh find your own way, best way you can. It's horrible whichever way it, where you go. Hedge up summit. Woo. So we've got Dunmore Hill next, which leads down to Cunyon Crags, and then we're back in the Ingram Valley. So the hard bit's done, really. Just to point out, when you're coming off hedge up in the dark, it is quite steep and bouldery. It can be a bit slippy in places. So just watch your footing. Right guys, we're at the dip between 
Hedgerow Hill and Dunmore Hill. There's a style here. I just want to warn you about the peat bog around this area. I once saw a man drop into a peat bog here, up his neck. No word of a lie. Wish I'd filmed it. That was on a, a, another cold brew event called the Winter Wipeout. Hashtag bring back the Winter Wipeout. Oh, oh Lee just fell in right as I was talking. Oh, Lee, it always happens. I get you. So these misty shapes to my left, these are the crags at Cunyam Crags. Lovely spot on a nice day. It's spooky today. Check it out. Here we are then, the main section of Cunyam Crags. Just beyond this little section of boulders on a nice day you would be looking down into Ingram Valley and if you're doing the goat if it's a clear night you might just see the twinkling lights of the village hall beckoning you oh careful on the rocks <laughs> bit slippy <laughs> Oh. Right then guys, we've just got to the bottom of Cunyan Crags and Rough Law has just jumped into view. At the bottom here is Ingram Valley and Brough Law is our last hill to climb. It is quite steep and it is covered in boulders. So we need to cross the river. There's a bridge at the bottom here. Probably advise you use that in the dark. And uh, let's find a way up there. So like Graham said, we've just hopped down off Cunyon Crags, back on the road, you know, lovely bit of road. And uh, that's in your face. Yep. You've done 55 miles, 56 miles, somewhere around about there. But you've got to get over that, yeah. Just wanted to show you how high the river is. Here at Ingram, if you're a local, you'll know it's not normally this big. That's crazy. Rough floor right there. You probably just see the bridge we're going to cross in front of me. We're going to cross that bridge, make our way along the base of Rough floor around the corner to those trees and up and over Ingram Village Hall and the cafe is just beyond this little bend so we're nearly there probably another mile to go so just to put into perspective how steep Brough Lot is I think I can safely say without exaggerating that's about a 45 degree angle very steep and it's covered in Got shale and boulders and all sorts of rubbish. So I hope the GPX is going to take us up a reasonably easy bit. Look at that river, man! Big heron just landed over there. We made it up the side of Brough Law. That was a bit of a killer climb, wasn't it, Lee? <laughs> well, the rain's back. I think it's fair to say this is one of the wettest days we've ever had in the TV. It's unbelievable today.
There we go. That's it. That's Recky 3. Even though we've got Recky 2 left. Yeah, yeah. Still got Recky 2 to do next week. Hopefully it's a little bit drier. Yeah, that was moist today, wasn't it? The... Shh, you can see that, man. <laughs> yeah, it was wet. Um, so yeah. We've got 16, 16 and a half miles today. We think it was around about the four and a half thousand feet elevation. I'll put the, the correct stat there. And yep. uh, I hope this one's been a, a help to you. Yeah, definitely has to me. I'll put the GPX file in down below. Uh, as I've said, you need permission to do this, but you can use the GPX file for the stats. You can see, you know, elevation, things like that. But you will need permission to run this route the way that we have. So don't go and do it without that. Yeah. All right. Well done. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Drop.